it is super gray, gloomy, and rainy today, which I kind of love. For most of October, we were basically having summer weather in Vancouver. It actually feels like fall now, and this weather makes me want to stay inside and clean my house and just make it really cozy in here, which is kind of what I need to do anyways. <laughs> I haven't unpacked yet from my Toronto trip and there's just certain areas that are getting kind of messy. I, I'm still working on that front room as well. I'm getting a storage bench dropped off either tomorrow or Wednesday, so that's really gonna help. So I got this a few weeks ago. A lot of people asked if I could do a mini review on it. I will say it was a little bit of a learning curve in the beginning, but I am obsessed with it. It makes such good coffee. There's just like a couple little things you need to get used to. Also, every time you get new beans, you kind of have to like redial in the machine. It also needs to warm up for like at least 10 minutes before you use it. I feel like I've gotten the hang of it now. I usually do an Americano Misto with oat milk. Normally I do use the frother on here, but for the last few times I've actually been using my Nespresso milk frother. I got this a long time ago and you can froth your milk at the same time that you're doing the espresso shot because you can't use this at the same time. So that's kind of what I've been doing. This barista friendly oat milk at the grocery store the other day. Normally I use the Earth's Own and it's really, really good. Um, but I thought I would try this out. There are a few less ingredients in it, um, but I'm not sure how it's gonna taste. I think it should be good. says it's barista friendly, but there's no foam from this milk. You should see the foam you get with Ursone, so would not recommend this. I think I was wearing this yesterday and now I feel awkward. <laughs> I outfit repeat all the time when I'm at home. I'm going to House Concepts today. I'm going to be doing a boxing class. They're also hosting a bit of an event because I think they're launching their own protein powder, I think. What am I gonna do with my hair? Braids, ponytail. It was like in braids, so it's all kinky. I have a couple other things I'm going to do beforehand since I'm like heading downtown. I'm going to Las Vegas this weekend and essentially we're leaving tomorrow night and I totally did not realize this. I'm not prepared at all. So we're flying out of Bellingham at like 7 a.m. Friday morning, it's Wednesday today. Um, but we're gonna have to leave at like 4 a.m. So like to me that feels like Thursday night, which is tomorrow night I didn't realize I also I have been to Vegas way too many times, but every single time we go I Never have outfits and I don't know how at this point. I should have a hundred Vegas dresses Vancouver does not have any like going out Dress stores, which is weird. I guess we don't really have nightlife here, but still it's always such a struggle, so we end up ordering dresses online. But I order things, they don't work out, and then I try finding new ones, and then shipping takes too long, so I actually ordered two dresses, and I don't think either of them are gonna get here in time. So I literally don't know what I'm gonna wear. And I feel like I'm like stressed out about this every time. But anyways, I just have a bunch of stuff. 
I need to get done before we go. I think I might try to get a blowout tomorrow just so that my hair is styled. I find that like super helpful. Um, I might get a spray tan. I don't love getting spray tans, but I have a free one on my account at a salon. Um, and I think if I get a clear one, it won't be super dark because one time, like before we went to Hawaii, I got a spray tan and I hated it. It was just like too dark and then it faded really fast, but it was like blotchy. So if I got one, I would get like a clear one. I'm gonna go to the mall quickly before this workout class to see if I can find anything. Literally the only place that might have dresses is Zara. That's not even like really like Vegas style. But we're actually going to Vegas for my sister's birthday. It's Halloween weekend as well. But I'm trying to get reservations at a couple places. Hannah really wants to go to Delilah, but you have to make reservations like months out. But I have this concierge service with my visa that I never use, but they can help you get reservations at restaurants that are like harder to get into. So I'm trying to see if they can help. It's my sister's birthday. I don't know if they do anything special, but if you can make that note that it's a birthday. Oh no, I was just about to leave, but I'm getting my bench dropped off within the hour. I'm like, do I wait for it? Hi, do you guys have any availability tomorrow for a blowout? Uh, can you just hold one moment? Yep. than I thought, but I guess like I needed it to be smaller. I don't think this has, oh! That was my Dyson. Please don't be broken, the battery fell off. And I was saying, I don't think this has any assembly required, which is really nice. I feel like I've built so many furniture pieces. <laughs> The screws are supposed to be this long. Look how short this screw is. The same level. Look at that screw. Okay, so that's what the bench looks like. I'm also not keeping anything on top of that cabinet. So I want to get a big mirror from the middle and then I feel like we also need like a taller plant or something in here and then probably getting rid of this, doing like a different rug. This room is just so awkward. I never know what to do with it. I also can't remember if I showed you guys the new counter chairs. So these are the ones that are replacing the stools that are in the entryway. I don't know if I love how they look, but they're super comfy and they do add a little bit of color. So that is what they look like. I just got to the gym and I'm super early. I don't know if I took a video of the black velvet dress at Zara, but I ended up getting it. I also got these like crystal drop earrings. They're really pretty. I'm thinking of doing like an updo with some front hair pieces out. These earrings, I have like a silver crystal-y bag and then just black heels. So that is one outfit. And then I do have this blue, it's kind of like a slip dress, but I think I have two outfits and we have two nights out. I went to Sephora. I got the Summer Fridays lip balm in vanilla beige. I actually wanted the darker one, but they were all sold out. I kind of wish I got the clear one now because this is my favorite one. And I'm almost out, but I love these. They're like $30, which is kind of a lot for a lip balm, but they're really good. So this one just has a little bit of a brownie nude color. So that is what the vanilla beige one looks like. 
Planning out my Vegas outfits because I need to pack up today. So these are my two going out outfits. I'm gonna bring another backup just in case I don't feel like these. But this is the blue like slip style dress that I have. I'm gonna wear this little jacket over it, white heels, white bag, and then this is the dress that I got at Zara yesterday. And I'm gonna do just like black heels in this bag. <laughs> I'm in the sweater again. I'm sorry. <laughs> You know how I said I ordered two dresses and they're not gonna show up? I think one of them is gonna come today. Yes. Now I'm trying to decide which one am I gonna replace? My O Poly dress made it. This is the one that I ordered. I was debating between a few and I don't know if I'm obsessed with this area. It's giving me kind of like bathing suit vibes, but I love the sleeves. I love this material, it's kind of like mesh. It's got like the ruffle edges, the long sleeves. I think it's really pretty. I'm picturing this with like wavy hair, white and gold accessories. Yeah. And can I also do a croissant warmed up? Croissant. Was it the butter croissant? Yes, a uh, butter. Thank you. Oh my god. It's like pouring rain out. <laughs> I should have worn a hood. I just got a blowout. It's like more curly right now because it's gonna loosen up. But I think it'll look good once it like falls a bit. Carl or Carla? Um, Alveda, 7.45. 7.45? Fuck me, I left. Yeah, I'll be there then. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye. I thought about continuing this vlog and including Vegas, but I do find I get negative feedback when I post more like party content, which I think is really strange. I do think that a lot of people are subscribed to me more for like my wellness content, but my whole channel and even Instagram just like Basically like all of my social media since the very beginning of when I started has just been my life. Like I just share my life and I like to do different things. I just don't think I wanna include the Vegas content in this vlog. I might do a separate one. Wow, I am so tired right now. I could literally go to bed and it is 6 p.m. Anyways, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thanks for watching a few days in my life and I'll see you guys next week. Peace out.